Hi, I'm Rabbi Howard Wolk, community chaplain with Jewish Family Service. I'd like to uh, share with you some highlights of our last month's activities. Uh, last month, I reported to you that I uh, went to Van Olsteen, Texas uh, to see a Torah scroll that came into the possession of a non-Jewish fellow. Uh, actually, the scroll has been reviewed uh, by a scribe here in town and uh, needs about three to $5,000 to fix it. I'm gonna to begin to put a group together to have the Torah scroll fixed and see if we can get it uh, donated by the man uh, to perhaps a local synagogue or uh, the Israel Defense Force is always looking for Torah scrolls for new army bases. Um, this month I went to several new communities, new communities for me, places that have contacted me, like me to visit their uh, residents once a month that's uh, Harbor Chase and the Parkview in Frisco uh, and the new facility in uh, uh, Park Cities uh, and Windhaven in Frisco. Uh, I made several hospital visits to community members. Uh, people whose family members reached out to me, asked me to visit them at uh, different hospitals, different rehab centers. Uh, just the other day, I was at the VA hospital visiting a man, a Vietnam veteran, Jewish fellow from Brooklyn, who's a recovering uh, drug addict, was off drugs for some 14 years, then was part of a counseling a bureau in Houston, unfortunately had a relapse. Now he's in a program in Dallas and he'd like now to reconnect with his Jewish roots. I spent an hour with him uh, the other day and plan to do follow-up visits uh, as well. A few days ago, I went with a JFS colleague to visit the grave of uh, someone who uh, we buried actually a year ago, who was part of our indigent burial program, just to pay her uh, respects. Uh, unfortunately, at the time of the funeral a year ago, no one from her family came. It was only members of the, uh, of the Jewish community. Uh, this coming week, I'm going to have a Dvar Torah uh, in the Texas uh, uh, Jewish uh, Post. I met as well uh, just a few days ago with a non-Jewish man who's seeking spiritual guidance. So uh, our program this past month really touched on a lot of different uh, activities, and that's really been part and parcel of our program for these last 12 years.